Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this job list page using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add search functionality for this page. So whenever we add any search term over here, the jobs of that search term should be displayed over here. So we're going to do that in this video. Let's get started. <laughs> Right, here's my source code and the first thing I will do is I'll just create a text field. So let's create an input and we'll just give it a type of text. And let's also add a placeholder and I'll just type search here. And we'll also add a class so that we can style it in the CSS. So let's type job search. Well, now if we go back to our browser, here we can see this is our search box. Now let's go ahead and style it using CSS. So let's go to our styler CSS file. And here let's type jobs list container job search. And let's set the width to 100%. And we'll also set a padding of 12 pixels top and bottom and 24 pixels left and right. And let's also set the font size to 18 pixels. And we'll set the font family to Rubik. Now here we can see since we added some padding, the width is more than 100%. So for that you have to type box sizing and set it to border box. And now we can see it has the correct width. Right now let's set the border. So just a border of one pixel solid. And I'll just set the color to 333. And let's also add a border radius. So just a border radius and let's set it to eight pixels. And we'll also add some margin bottom. So I'll just type margin bottom and I'll just set it to 20 pixels. All right, so that's basically it with our search box styling. Now let's add the JavaScript code. So let's go to our main.js file. And first of all, let's reference this element with the class of job search. So here I'll just type const job search equals document.query selector jobs list container job search now the next thing we need to do is we need to add an event listener to this job search so here let's type job search dot add event listener and we will listen for the input event so this event will be fired every time we make some changes to this input field so if we add some text this event will be fired and even if we remove some text this event will be fired so for now, let's go ahead and check whether it is working. So I'll just display the search term in the console. Now we need to get the details of this uh, job search. So we can add a variable name over here. So I'll just call it E and I'll just type console.log and uh, here I'll just type E.target.value. Right now this will get the value of the input field and display it on the console. So I'll just open the console. And let's type something over here and we can see that the text is displayed over here and if i remove something we can see that the event is fired right now that we know it is working let's go ahead and uh, let's store this search term inside a variable so here i'll just create a variable and i'll just call it search term and by default i'll just set it to blank and whenever we make any changes to this input field I'll just store the value inside this search term variable. So here I'll just remove this. And here I'll just type search term equals e.target.value. Now the next thing we will do is we will call this function create job listing cards which displays all these jobs over here. And we're going to add an if condition over here and uh, we're going to display only the jobs that includes this search term. So here I'll just type create job listing cards. And here for the for each loop, let's add an if condition. So here I'll just type if job dot title. So we're going to see whether the search term is in the title. So I'll just type job dot title dot includes and here we will just add the search term so it will see whether the search term is included in the title of the job and if it is true then we can just 
go ahead and execute this code. So I'll just add all of this inside this if condition. So here I'll just close the if condition. Right now let's go back to our browser and uh, here if I just type software we can see that nothing changes over here but if we scroll down we have the search results displayed over here at the bottom. Now that's because whenever we are executing this code we are appending the elements so all the search results are appended after these uh, existing elements. So what we need to do is here before this for each here we need to remove all the code that is inside the container division which is jobs container. So here we can see we have this uh, jobs division over here. So we're going to remove all the content inside the jobs division which we are calling jobs container. So here let's type jobs container dot inner html equals blank. Right now let's go back to our browser and let's search for one of these jobs. So I'll just type data and here we can see that the result is displayed over here. And if I just type pro, we can see that project and product are displayed over here. But if we just type product in lowercase, then it will not be displayed. So for that, let's go back. And here where we are adding the if condition, I'll just change the text case to lowercase. And we'll do the same for the search term so that it doesn't matter whether the user enters lowercase or uppercase. So here after title, let's type to lowercase dot includes. And even for the search term, we need to change this to lowercase. Right now, let's go back to our browser and let's search for project and it is working. Let's search for capital P and it is working. So we don't have any problems with the letter cases. Right, so with that, we have added the functionality of search for our job list page. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Oh, 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 oh,